Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft Excel has a great new feature out for people that share Excel files. It is called Sheet View. It is already enabled on Excel for the web, but it is coming to Excel for the desktop where I feel like most people would use it anyway. The only reason I have it right now is I'm a member of the Office Insider Program, which recently became the Office Beta Program. Uh, June 5th, so I have this feature right now, Sheet View. This applies when sorting and filtering take place in an Excel file. So I'm actually going to demonstrate this right now to you. So let me close out of what's new. So here's what I have set up. In Excel on the desktop, I'm signed in. Right up here it says Chris Menard. That's me. Um, Carol, I've already shared this file with Carol Martin, who's over here on the right hand side. And Carol opened this file up on Excel on the web. So Carol, wherever she clicks, I'll know where she is in case you've never shared a file before. So if Carol clicks on customer number in A1, look at my screen over there to the left when she clicks. It went blue. That's telling me Carol Martin just clicked on cell A1 right here. The same thing applies if I go click on cell G17. Look at Carol's screen on the web. She knows that I'm in G17. So that is pretty easy to do right there. So here comes the issue. Multiple people can share an Excel file. Multiple people can even be in the Excel the same Excel worksheet, which I'm doing right now. Carol's sitting here looking at this and she says, you know what? I want to sort by purchases, which is column G. So when Carol comes over here and does a right click sort A to Z, watch my screen change. Watch this. So I start getting frustrated because Carol is sorting right now, messing up what I'm trying to do. And now she's about to filter, which will really mess it up because whatever Carol filters by, is what I'm going to see and she's going to filter by the state of North Carolina and I need to see North Carolina, California, Georgia, I need to see all the states. So here we go. Sheet view will pop up in three different, you can use sheet view in three different occasions. Doesn't matter how you start it. Carol's going to go to filter. This first one's really easy. When Carol says I'm going to filter by state, and I only want to see North Carolina. Carol's on the data tab right now. Sheet view is going to automatically pop up and say, do you only want to see this filter for just yourself? Basically, so she doesn't mess up me and everyone else that's viewing this. So obviously the answer would be yes. Also, when she says yes, it's going to go to the view tab. And there's going to be a group here where it says connections. It's going to say sheet view. So let's see if that's true. Watch this. So I should get a box that pops up that says, do you want to use sheet view? Others are also making changes. Do you want to see sorting and filtering from others? Notice the default is see just me. That's exactly what she wants to do. And I'm going to jump. It'll jump now to the view tab at the top and then it'll say sheet view, view, sheet view. Really cool feature. My information did not get filtered, so I am thrilled. Carol, previously if Carol would have filtered, my stuff would have filtered. So this applies to sorting and it applies to filtering. So I'm showing you the filtering right now. Carol knows that she's in sheet view because the rows that are usually in gray and the rows and the columns are now in black. That's how you know you're in sheet view. Plus it jumped to view and you got a sheet view group group. Let's test this. Carol's in sheet view. So also whatever I do shouldn't mess up Carol. I'm going to come here and sort by customer number. Notice Carol's got these numbers running. I'm going to sort A to Z. It should not mess up what Carol's doing. Here we go. Perfect. It didn't change Carol's, but it did change. Let me do that one more time. Oh, my bad. <laughs> it's asking me if I want to do a sheet view. Yeah, see just mine, because now I'm sorting. 
this is cool. I'm sorting, and now it says, okay, you don't want to mess up what Carol's doing, so see just mine. So now I'm in a sheet view, and Carol's in a sheet view. I can do whatever I want, and Carol can do whatever she wants. So it applies to sorting and to filtering, as I just proved. A couple more tests. So I'm in sheet view. Carol's in sheet view. I'm going to go and sort by state now. Actually, I'm going to go filter by state. I want to see everyone except North Carolina. When I hit OK, Carol should still be good. Come back over here to Carol. Carol wants to add another state too. Whatever Carol does is for Carol. Whatever I do is for me. Now, let's test something else. Notice that 4214, which is in row two for me, uh, last name is Roberts, purchases are 1103. That was a mistake. I'm going to change this to 2500. It should change for Carol also, and it did. That is working correctly. To get out of sheet view, I'll do it for Carol, just simply click on exit. It's going to ask you, do you want to save your sheet view? You could. I'm going to hit don't keep right here. There you go. To get back to sheet view, if you want to manually do it, so it automatically pops up when you do a filter, and it popped up for me when I did a sort when Carol had a sheet view running. You can always just make your own sheet view. View, sheet view, new. So now Carol can do whatever she wants to. You can even name it. She wants to call it, I'm making this up, Carol's view, I'm gonna press enter. That's what saved it. So Carol can jump back and forth between the default versus a sheet view if she wants to. Let's test this one more time. Let's go and do purchases. She only wants to see stuff greater than $1,000. Actually, I'm gonna make it 900. Hopefully mine doesn't change. And it didn't. Carol can even come in here and do a sort A to Z just to check it. Mine's still not changing, but Carol's is changing. Those are purchases over $900. Hopefully that helps. I'm going to wrap this up. That is Sheet View, already on Excel for the web, coming to Excel for the desktop for Office 365 users, though. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about Sheet View, please ask them in the comments on my YouTube. Thank you.